Hello and welcome to your very own private tour of the University of Glasgow. My name's Shamil, this is Patrick and this is Amy and today we are going to take you around our campus and show you our favourite parts of our university. So from here you can see quite a lot of the city behind me. We are currently in the west end of the city. The university was founded in 1451 and it's the fourth oldest university in the UK. So Glasgow is Gaelic for Deer Green Place and we have over 90 parks and gardens. We have a lot of galleries and music venues in the city as well. So we have the SECC, the Hydro and towards that way you can also have, you can also go to the city centre which is just a 10 minute ride on the subway or a short walk as well. So if you follow me through I'm going to take you into the main building. So this is the East Quad over University. So it's home to various lecture theatres and offices but one thing to point out is Butte Hall over there. So that's where you would have exams, graduation, and the ceremony would end in this quadrangle here. That is the tower you're hearing. The tower is a very beautiful part of the university. Um, we have a lot of Hogwarts vibes going on, as you can see with the tree. Um, also, just while you're here, there's a myth that you cannot step on the grass before you graduate, otherwise you're going to fail all your exams. Just making sure no one's doing that over there. So if you just follow me through, I'll take you into the cloisters. You might recognise this place from TV and films such as Outlaw King or Outlander, but my favourite thing about the cloisters is all the exciting events that happen here during Freshers' Week. Freshers' Week is the first week of university and it's where you get to do all these crazy exciting events but also figure out which clubs and societies you want to be part of at the University of Glasgow. There are over 250 societies here at the Uni of Glasgow, ranging from cheese and wine tasting, film watching, debating, rugby, football, tennis, you name it. When I came here, I saw the Dance Society performing right here in the cloisters and I thought, yes, that's what I want to be part of and I've loved that. Here we are in the Memorial Chapel. It's a non-denominational chapel, which means it doesn't actually belong to any faith, so it's open to everyone to use. Big services and concerts are held here at Christmas and Easter, but most excitingly, if you're a student or alumni at the Uni of Glasgow, you can get married here. And look, isn't it gorgeous? Did you know the Uni of Glasgow wasn't always here? It was originally built in the city centre and was moved up to Gilmore Hill. This staircase was moved brick by brick from the city centre campus, along with the statues of the unicorn and lion. Some people say if you pet the unicorn, it gives you good luck for your exams. Hello? <laughs> I got it from here. Although these days we all have a mobile phone in our pocket, back in the days this is what we used to make a phone call. These telephone boxes are here for a particular reason. George Gilbert Scott, who was the man who designed the main building, and his grandson, Giles Gilbert Scott, was the person responsible for designing these telephone boxes. As we're walking past the SRC building here, this used to be the men's union, but now it houses the Student Representative Council. They are like the student liaison for everything that we do here on campus. So if you ever have a problem, you can come talk to them here. So behind me is the Quincentennial Gate. It was constructed on the 500th anniversary of the university to commemorate all the amazing people who've walked through the doors here, like Adam Smith, James Watt and Isabella Elder. And if you look closely, you'll notice that there's some gaps on the, at the gate and maybe one day your name could be there. So from Amy, Shamil and I, thank you so much for joining us on the tour today and hopefully see you soon.